What's up, man? 25 Gamer. This is like the 15th time I've tried to do this video, um, and I hope that this is the last time I have to do it. Um, but I really wanted to bring you guys uh, something a little bit different than the. Uh, it's been a little bit rough on me the last couple months, and so uh, this week I'm going to try to make sure that I can get this uh, shotgun type scheme out for you guys. Um, it's something that I run uh, regularly. Unfortunately, I can't promise that I'll finish my defensive and offensive ebooks uh, as far as the video quality goes because my computer has just been very hard to work with lately. And therefore, I'm going to give you at least this uh, shotgun tight uh, as well as um, I'm going to give you my 4 3 under defense next week. So uh, hopefully, that will at least get serve to kind of highlight some of the things for you and and if i can get an ebook out by the you know before by the summer uh to kind of wrap up this year for madden 25 and kind of prepare you for next year uh then i will do that but unfortunately i can't promise anything uh just because i can't trust my computer right now and so um i'm kind of just gonna have to put that on hold so i would expect uh my gun tight offense this week and i would expect my 4 300 defense next week uh, as far as an ebook i wouldn't bank on it but it might be possible depending on if i can get this computer to kind of continue to work uh hopefully throughout this but anyway uh without any further ado uh let's introduce you to the shotgun type formation all right guys so the shotgun type formation is uh very good for beating man and the first play we're going to discuss this week uh is the zone of post this is the base play and we're just going to show it to you through all the plays uh specifically uh two man under here so we're going to show you what we do. Uh, what I like to do with this play is I like to put my running back on a streak. I like to motion my left outside receiver, James Jones, across the formation. And then I like to take Jordy Nelson, and I'll put him on a hitch, or I'll put him on an in. Uh, but my favorite is to put him on a, a smart routed in route. And uh, the first read on this play is going to be the little slant route to James Jones coming across formation. Typically, that's going to be able to beat man coverage. It's actually going to be able to beat a lot of different defenses. Uh, the crossing routes this year are very good. Okay, um, My next route that I really like to hit, uh, if open, is Randall Cobb's route. Uh, this route is rarely open, but you can use or catch it. Um, that's kind of the thing right there. Um, because you can actually click onto your player and uh, make a user catch. That's why I like to look for this second. Another reason I like to look for this second, and as I'll show you in a moment, uh, but I pass it down to the outside and see sometimes you'll get a they'll pick it but unfortunately that's the only downside to this um because against cover two sink and this is why i don't throw i personally don't throw that route against man to man uh just me personally i don't like to throw things that can be picked against man but against zone this is where this route shines because against cover two sink pass lead outside to the left and look at that now you have a cover two sink beater um, as well as, you know, I think a majority of the zone defenses, in fact, uh, this does a very good job at beating. And so your first read is your man beater, your second read is your zone beater. So I hope you like how, I, how that works, because I really appreciate that. Um, but against cover three, uh, see how the deep zones get it, but cover two, it won't, it won't get it. And so that's why I wanted to quickly disclaim that, because this route is, last year was a lot better than it is this year. But uh, we, it can still be used to beat cover two, and so that's what we like to use it for. Um, and so my next route uh, that I like to run here, now we'll just show you against cover four, uh, is the running back. That's my third read, and, and typically against cover four, he'll sit down uh, in the zone and in nice uh, on that nice little streak route, and, and that's what I like to do there. Um, next thing I want to show you is my uh, fourth read, which is Jordy Nelson, and against two man under, pass lead down that in route, and typically it will do a little bit better of a job than you guys just saw. Uh, partially the reason that it didn't work properly uh, is because I shaded him inside to kind of show you. Uh, and that's why you want to use different routes. Uh, you want to use in routes, out routes. Uh, but there you see, with the pass lead to the left, uh, it typically will do a good job. But um, like I just said, you want to use multiple routes. So here we're going to use an out route. And we'll show you uh, that out route can beat man too. And they break at the same point. And that's the constraint theory that's working off what I said earlier. Um, and then my final read on this play, actually, is Boykin on that little um, zone of post route. And this is the route that kind of keeps everything together. Uh, it's an unbumpable man-beater. It beats the best of the best. That's Richard Sherman right there. Uh, he's the best cornerback in Madden 25. 
uh, and it beats it beats that route. Um, another thing that I want to quickly just, uh, show you is this play against the cover three, just kind of show you the reads as we cycle through here. Uh, but as you see, the crossing route is still a pretty effective route. Uh, the one reason I would say not to throw the crossing route against cover three is you have some vulnerabilities to hit sticks, but in all honesty, you probably won't even notice that until after it's too late. Um, and so, you know, typically, and right there, I threw the I threw the route to Boykin a little too quick. Um, but you just want to be patient in the pocket. And, and like I said, this is a very powerful play, especially when they're running man-to-man -man defense. When they're running zone, uh, in particular, cover three, it's not as good. But it can still beat zone. And, and we're going to go over a specific play uh, that will kill zone coverage uh, tomorrow. Uh, but this is the base play. This is uh, more of a man-beating base play because of the the. the the big time man coverages that we see in this game, but there you see Boykin's route can beat the zone as well. So there's a lot of there's several different routes that can beat zone, uh, and we're going to focus on them more tomorrow. Uh, but today I want to kind of give you the man, the more of a man beating uh, based base play uh, you, where you can beat man and cover two. So if you see two high safeties, this is your play. We're going to show you how to beat one high safety tomorrow uh, where they face a lot of cover three. All right. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope that it impacted you in some way. Uh, if it was useful to you, please click the like button. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, problems, or suggestions related to this video, uh, you can check the comment section out and leave a little message there for me in that section. And then lastly, if you would do me a favor and check out the description uh, where you can find some of my other videos that may